flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this traffic board aboard this tiny ship. Check, check. Fuck yeah. Uh, Life's sweetest reward. reward. <clears throat> <And> it <throat> float. <laughs> it, it floats back to you. Okay, guys, we'll get this started in just a couple minutes. We got a lot going on on the show today, right? I've got four 
Jack K420. You got to say it just like that when you say his name. Jack K420. He's going to come in and we're going to play Way That Sack. I've got Chuck from the store here today, right? Like, I've got Chuck in the Hydro store today. He'll, uh, I got a, I even got a mic for Chuck over here. Um, Chuck's going to hang out on the show. We're, you know, it's not going to be the typical show. I'll take calls, of course, if you guys have some questions. But I'm going to have a couple guests on the show. In fact, uh, I'll tell you, I got schooled a little yesterday. I had uh, my network engineer comes in, the guy who helps me set up all this stuff. And Jack K420 came in today, and I got schooled. So much stuff I don't know because of the way I came up in the community. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting into all of that today. Keep watching. Remember, like, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. right now on Sunday. That's your mic. And the mic is right. The act the cookie, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, ooky. The Adams family. They started getting wrong. The time ship all its off. If not for the coverage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. The house is a museum. When people come to see them, they really are the scream. The Adams family. Spreading the curse. will be along in about a half hour, 45 minutes. Fighting the system like a two modern day Robin Hood. Yeah! Oh, and just off into the, off into the past. Ah, who doesn't love Knight Rider as an intro? Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. This is Cannabis 101. Chuck works at the store too. This is Chuck. Chuck, you've seen him in the videos. Chuck's going to hang out on the show for a little while, at least until Jack K420 comes in. 
So I just want to say good morning. Uh, there's a heck of a lot going on today. We've got a solar flare. We're in the midst of getting all the radiation. We've got three tornadoes bearing down on the East Coast. It is, uh, there, is a, there is a lot going on. So I appreciate all of you having the time to come hang out on the show. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's enough of a distraction. I hope you guys all stay safe, that the hydro stores all stay safe in Florida and Texas. And, of course, the people, too, out there. The video of this show, of course, is coming to you from a hydro store. Anyway, so this is this is Henderson Hydro out here in Las Vegas. And we've been remodeling the store. And we've been talking about it. Um, and I've been showing you guys the remodel as we go. It's uh, because we've got the back taken apart. The store is a bit messy because we've got the back inventory in the front, the front inventory in the back, and there's just too much inventory in here all anyway. Too much inventory, not enough displays. I've got Jack A420 coming in a little bit. Um, oh, you know what? Where is that? Where is that hemp? Oh, yeah, never would have found it. I just saw a net on there and I just thought I'd pull out that hemp Genix product uh, if if hemp Genix would like to uh, post something up on on the uh, on the live chat I will go ahead and read off the coupon code so you guys get some you guys get some props for this because I gotta tell you I used this was hemp Genix with pure hemp CBD oil intensive pain I started using it yesterday on the show, and I gotta tell you, check this out, Chuck. Check out their products. I gotta tell you, I was using it on the show, and it was immediately apparent. And I used it on yesterday's show. I continued to use it yesterday. I haven't had the chance to use it today. I've been sort of busy getting ready for the show. <coughs> but that's the product. It's got no odor. No odor. No odor. No odor. But it works just like it feels just like icy hot or Bengay. But, but there's, there's no odor. odor. This, this is, is some, some CBD powder. powder. Um, you know how to just, it's uh, powdery, so. And that, this is some CBD powder. I'll show you guys on the close-up cam. Check this out. This is CBD powder. I was smoking this yesterday with Jack K420. 910, good morning. Hey, what's up, bro, boss? Hey, your mic's a little jacked up just to let you know. People were kind of chat and tell you about it you sound a little like you're far away just let okay. you know okay wait wait okay let me let me god i'm always afraid turn down your audio bah okay oh the echo is because all of the mics okay let's try this um how, how's this for a mic okay so um, this is a, i can't listen to you right now because i'm using my phone but i'm sure you'll follow the chat someone will tell you if it's working now or not God, I'm the only I'm the only webcast that's like afraid to have people call him because I'm gonna have some mic problem. <laughs> okay, so check check. How's this guy's on there? Check check. Is this good for me and Chuck? Check check. How's that? Because I can hear your kid just fine. <laughs> no, I know, but um, I'm not uh, watching your show right now. I have to uh, turn it off and use my phone to call you. I'm gonna hang up right now. Okay. All right. All right, brother. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for the call. All right, listen. I have had, I have had no ability to, I have had no time. Good, good, better, better. Okay, so Chuck, give me a check, 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 check. Check, check. So there's Chuck. Good, better, yes, better. Okay, so we had, yeah. Listen, I'm telling you something. I'm going, I'm going national in a way that I never went before. I had my technology guy come in. And we are going to live stream Facebook. We're going to start hitting all the social media. Remember, we've been talking about that cannabis information network. Listen, I'm all over that. I put a down payment yesterday on a, on the guy who wants to uh, do that for his business. And you know, we've been talking about the cannabis information network and how we're going to expand and how we need content. And you can look at cannabis information network on YouTube. Mike, Mike, chat. You can look at cannabis information on YouTube and see how I'm doing it. But we're gonna put it out like on Instagram. We'll do a one-minute post. Somebody's got some uh, comes in and sells me some used gear. I'll post it up. It's not that you guys can buy it, but you guys like seeing the prices. This is a little bit of the CBD powder, and I don't know how it. 
Yeah, I think I can taste that thing I rub on, the, what I rub on my back, the hemogenics. You got something that hurts? Are you supposed to smoke that powder? Yeah. They, really? were, they told me not to snort it. Do you have anything <laughs> that hurts? No. I'm, Do what about el your elbow? Because you fine. It's back in shape. Dude, Chuck is the answer. <laughs> Chuck is a machine. Pain up. Ah, 513, good morning. 513. 513. Okay, let me just check. Hello? Sounds yes. like 513. 513, good morning. What do you got for me? It's Girl Boss. Oh, 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 no, 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 you're right. Okay, 513, good morning. There we go. How you doing? Hi, good morning. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you, man. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Oh, either, that's why I've been uh, refusing to hire a a, 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 a a the guy who runs the show, the content producer, because you got to learn how to fix problems. I switched mics, and so I hear you I hear talking. You. I can't hear. What Good morning, can't man. You? Okay. Um, I was just wondering, was it ventilation? Um. Hello. Yes, sir. You. Yeah. What's the whole question? And so, the question is that I'm trying to figure out about ventilation with uh, using fresh air intakes for an indoor grow room. Uh, okay. What's the question? Really weird. I can't really... Can you hear me? The question is, is if I use a... Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, you know what? Turn your, turn your computer kind of... down. Turn your computer down. My computer's off. I'm using a tablet. Turn your electronic device down so you don't hear me in the background. I don't hear you in the background. <laughs> okay. So, what's your question about venting? I don't hear you. I got, I got nothing. What's your question about venting? Uh, well, well I've, been trying to, I've been trying to use fresh air for years, and uh, I've finally rigged up a six-inch intake duct, and uh, I have it on a, on a temperature controller, fan controller. And I just bring that in for right now while the air is cooler outside than it is inside to use that instead of having no fresh air and drowning them basically. And uh, so I was just wondering, like, with a fresh air intake, is there any proper way to do it? Is there? I was using those uh, CO, what are they, NO2, uh, CO2, whatever they are, TMB, CO2 bottles or whatever. And those were great, but. Uh, my problem is when it got a little warmer without HD in there, I had to use fresh air. So I was just, instead of using those, I started bringing fresh air. How much light do you have? Is that a uh, 4,000? And you're somewhere where fresh air cools 4,000 watts. Good for you. Good for you. The rest well, of Well, I mean, I'm also, in, 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 also, besides the fresh air, also, I'm, I'm venting the hot air, you know, I'm pouring out hot air. Yeah, but but it's the same thing. Pulling air out is the same as pushing it in. You can't pull air out without okay. some coming in. So <clears throat> if you're talking right. about, and the I was running problems with that. Yeah, I'll tell you, most people, ahead. most people with four thousand watts, they tend to just buy the air conditioner because, frankly, with four thousand watts, the TNBCO two, which works great, isn't meant for that much light. You have to buy tanks. There's no point in you venting and adding a TNB CO2 with 4,000 watts. You would be better off getting an AC, adding a burner, getting 25% more weight, and the burner pays for the AC. And now you can do it all year long without having to worry about outside air. That's right. Um, so you don't think that fresh air is a good idea at all? Or... Um, no, what I'm saying is, I think fresh air is great. Look at it all around me. What I'm suggesting is, right. what I'm suggesting is, is that you have a gangster decision to make. You have a gangster decision to make. Yeah. Because, because where are you? All right, listen. I, let me, I'll keep it. You keep listening. I'll, I'm going to take the call off the air. Um, you have a gangster decision to make, dude. You got four thousand watts. Do you want to dick around? Or do you want to go dope? I mean. If you want to dick around, sounds like you're right in the zone. If you want to grow cannabis and maximize, I mean, you're buying an AC. 
and you're going to add CO2 with the burner because you've got 4,000 watts. Remember, if you add CO2 with 2,000 watts or less in flour, you're probably going to want tanks. You'll end up with a tank every 10 days at the start of flour. By the end of flour, you'll go through a tank every four days. But at 4,000 watts, man, it's a tough thing to, uh, to play with such, uh, you know, to, 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 yeah, it's a lot of work, man. I mean, you got 2,000 watts in veg somewhere. I'm just saying that, it, it, you know, to keep on, uh, to keep hemp transparency, and hemp, is that the code word? Um, let's see, what's the code word for hemp credit? So hemp genics, I've been, I've been using these two things for the last couple days. And what I wanted to tell you about was, you know, there's a couple of different, Okay, so Hempgenics sends me um, Lady Hanep at, yeah, Hempgenics, right. Lady Hanep sends, we truly hope you enjoy your products provided by our sponsor, Hempgenics, for us to use, dude, this is Dozer. This is Chuck's Dog Dozer. You guys know Ralph. This is Chuck's Dog Dozer. Come here, come here, come here, check this dog out. This dog, oh, <laughs> this dog, come here, come here, look up here. Ah. This dog, oh, there he is, there he is. Oh my God, who doesn't love Dozer? Oh my God. Oh, he's just the best dog. These are the two shop dogs. Um, for us, these products have been amazing and have helped us in many ways. The, the 500 milligram orange and peppermint flavor drops work well when put under the tongue. Hold as long as you can. Rub, rubs, of course, get rubbed in. The CBD isolate can be smoked. Added to food and added to do-it-yourself, like making your own soap with CBD. We sent you two, so you have one for home and one for work. Again, we hope you enjoy. Okay, you guys know I'm a paramedic nurse. You guys know I'm fairly science-minded. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my opinion on this product. Because i got to tell you, I really do like this rub. And yet, oh, 702. 702, good morning. Hello? Yes, sir. Turn Hello? Your yes, sir. Turn your computer down. Okay, I turned it. I paused it. I got the live view paused. Okay, perfect. What can I do for you? Good morning, local man. Good morning. Uh, so I had a question. Um, so I have a bunch of, bunch of like black dots, look like ink dots, like popping up on my... It's the ribs. Um, I was on the vacation for like a week and came back and... Um, okay. My friend is watching this for me. So. Oh, um, it's totally your friend's fault. Sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I feel like it. I feel like it. Okay, so I'm going to pull up a picture for you of what it looks like. Okay, Thrips is very specific. Nope, that's not a... Oh, that, may, that may be... Here is gray spots with black dots. Thrips are very specific. And there's only one thing that leaves black dots, and it's thrips. So as soon as you say black uh -huh. dots, you got thrips. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah. Let's see. I'm waiting for the video being live. Okay. Oh, you're waiting on the video. Oh, that's even worse than a sound delay. Yeah. There's 30, there's 30 seconds in there. Um okay so okay i see it now it, it's one of those things where um it can't be it can't be anything else it's if you say black dots it, it must come with gray spots i've never seen even when you were talking to us chuck and i are both or as soon as you say black dots it's thrips mm -hmm. yeah, yeah all the leaves look, look like they're turning like silver like one of them i just took out i just get rid of the plants and the rest of them look like they could be saved one of them i just gave up on so Okay, silver know, silver spots silver spots with black dots. I say gray, you say silver. But what happens is what yeah, actu yeah. what yeah. actually happens is when you look at the, when you look at the gray spots right here, what actually happens mm -hmm. is right, thanks for the call. I'll keep answering. When what actually happens is the uh, the bug eats the cuticle off the surface of the leaf. And where the cuticle le reflects green, reflects everything but green, the, the cuticle reflects green, 
Now, because the cuticle surface is more like the moon, it's jagged, it's rough, and the waxy part on the outer surface of the leaf has been eaten away, it no longer reflects color the same way. So as soon as it's black dots with gray spots, you got thrips. That's all there is to it. Okay. <clears throat> what I was telling you about was there's different kinds of pain. This is hempgenics, and there's different ways to handle it. We all saw me have an anxiety attack a couple of months ago, and we all saw the video, of the short video of me. Oh, I can feel my teeth. So hempgenics thought it was super funny, so they've sent me these products. There's code word bug poop. That can't be right. Um, Hanep, post the code word. Um, a pea jammer, it might work if you rub it on your butt. You'd have to ask your uh, old lady if she'd mind, though. Let's see, Hanep. Right. Um. Okay, so there you go. So we got different kinds of pain, right? So here's a couple of different ways to handle pain. Um, there are a couple of different types of pain. There's CNS, there's the central nervous system. Hey, 254, give me one sec, okay? Hi. All right, so central nervous system. Um, there's in and out, right? So you touch something, these are sensory nerves, they come in. There are out, things that go out to your arms or your legs when you walk. And then there's the autopilot. This is your heart and your lungs and your breathing and stuff like that. So there's a couple of different types of nerves that you Jack got already. K. Oh, he's here. All right, 214. All right, 214, what can I do for you? Oh, no, 254. Okay, 214 Hello. is the next call. 254. Hey, this is John Bowe. Oh, yes, sir. Um, hey, um... I just sent you a couple of pictures of my shit just so you could give it a check out. But I um, got a yeah, quick question for you. I've used uh, Fox Farm forever. Okay. But you know what? Um, and today's, uh, the... hey, wait, 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 wait. Let me stop you. Today, at the moment, I've got Jack K here. And I wasn't prepared to look at your pictures at the moment anyway. I mean, I know you sent them. But, I mean, I got a couple things planned. So while I appreciate the pictures and stuff, it's not on my agenda at the moment. Maybe I can get to it later today, but um, um, I, there, I, I got a couple things going on. I've got that K420 here, so I appreciate the call, but it will have to come a little later. Thank you. And I appreciate the images. Good morning. Oh, no problem. Good morning. Um, I, uh, I use some of the hempgenics on my back. I can feel the difference. I was just starting to talk a little bit about the difference. And there's, there's, because not everything, if you've had pain, have you had an injury yet in life where it hasn't healed and it's taken time to get over? No. Uh, okay. Not as good. Okay, so I've had a couple of back surgeries, but I really haven't had that kind of nagging injury that I didn't know if it would get better. And I've been writing the books and dicking around for a few years, like six. And suddenly I go from 40 to 47. And, and at that point... Um, I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm a little older, so a month and a half ago I started stretching, and I don't know what it was, but I tore, well, I just tore up all the nerves right around my hips and my butt, and it has been sore for a while. I keep stretching and it keeps getting better, but that's one type of nerve pain. That's like a sensory pain. So, in this particular case, it was an acute injury, like something new, right? But the injury is going on for so long that it becomes... You know, before I was indestructible. Now I'm a little older. I'm on the other side of things. So there's usually acute chronic pain. Chronic becomes debilitating. It comes with depression. And over the last few months, chronic pain, stretching, and that initial injury, the insult, tissue damage in my nerve, has been fucking me. It's literally in the last two weeks, what I've started doing is taking, because it's been going on for months, I've started taking bite. And when I start to say I take bite, one pill lasts me day, one, five days. At this point, I've been taking an eighth of a pill, literally, like a smallest chunk as I can break off it, in the morning about 9 a.m., and it lasts me all day. But, oh, and I take it with Naperson. I know they got all sorts of the non -steroid. But a, the tiniest amount of an opiate really helps with that muscular, that deep tissue pain. However, 
there's also radiating pain and there's nerve pain there's neuropathy like diabetes there's there's organ pain like from cancer or from pancreatitis or appendicitis or all of these inflammations of solid organ there's so many different ways to have pain and there's different nerve sensors for that pain and i got to tell you the non steroidals weren't really helping me uh, not chunaprosin not you know tylenol not aspirin not ibuprofen not acetaminophen not any of those products but that one eighth of the vicodin if i could break it off small quick that one don't take it before i go to bed because i'm so worried about being in the opiate of all the people but i got to tell you there's other types of pain too and there's surface pain and skin pain and I was telling you guys that I did CPR on that girl two nights ago in Petco. This would not have worked for that when she <laughs> woke up for her broken ribs. But I got to tell you, this, this works the shit out of the pain that's right here. And once it releases here, the radiating pain that goes down to here, totally different. I feel it. And you guys can watch me. You'll see me twitching my seat like this, like I'm pulling on my back. Dude, it's weird. After three back surgeries and rods and pins, just not the same thing too. So these are like, there's like a couple of different types of pain, right? And you go to, you go to a pain doctor and they're like, oh, boom, if you're at a pain doctor, you're getting pain pills. I mean, he's a hammer. You're going to be a nail. There is no taking control of your life and looking at options. And when I suggest that, when we talk about taking control and looking at the options, here was an option, this hemp genics, here was an option. You know, like a paramedic in the back of the abs, I'm going to stab you in the heart with some epinephrine to bring you back. So, you know, these are this guy's products. And so they sent me some, and I got to tell you, I, I, I'm pretty impressed. It, it, there's some radiation relief. Once it relieved the spot where the radiating pain was coming from, it helped relieve it. Relieve it. I mean, there's lots of different types of pain, right? There's sharp stabbing, tingling, there's chest pain, there's back pain. There's all sorts of stuff like that but i'm not saying that this is appropriate for everything and and frankly if you smoke cannabis it gets into your system through your lungs but if you eat it it gets into the blood brain barrier because it gets broken down by the liver it's a different metabolite a different way it affects you and I, I can't tell you because i don't know smoking the cbd on the this on the that i don't know that but i got i, I just i gotta tell you son of a bitch i feel like the government is something else for me i mean is this product pricey yeah but i gotta tell you killing it from my back i love it at that level that no see uh the no see scepter the receptors that are on your skin not the deep tissue ones the no see receptors right so that's my opinion i got i'm i'm pretty impressed i mean if you guys have something you're looking because I, I can't tell you how many people say i'm off op I gotta work myself off opiates. Opiates is a motherfucker. Like, I am beyond confused on how you can DUI and kill someone, and we don't sue the alcohol company. How you can smoke cigarettes and everybody else is being taxed. Fuck that. Smoke your cigarettes. I'll pay for your health insurance. Cigarettes are 100 bucks a pack. Oh, I got this one. You want alcohol? Oh, I'm just gonna triple the cost. Knock yourself out. I put, you're going to pay for it on the back end because look where we are right now. I'm just saying that, like, that doesn't get you high. And I don't know if the metabolites, like, if you've got a, if you've got a commercial, I can't tell you anything about the safety, any regulation. They say it's no THC. I have no idea. I can't tell you if the metabolites, they say no testing, nothing. I'm not telling you anything about that. What I that. My back really feels better. That's what I can tell you. All right, let's let's press some wax. Let's smoke some bud. Yeah, K420 and I and Chuck, we're going to play this out. We're going to play. <sighs> weigh that sack. So we're gonna all we're gonna we're gonna call an eighth. We'll weigh the bag. We'll measure the bag. We'll weigh it. We'll all see who can get the closest to an eighth. It's been a long time since I. Jack K420, and on his channel, let me find you. Let me post you up here. 
I learned so much yesterday from hanging out with you. Yeah. And about, um, I owe a lot of people an apology, which I don't usually do is apologize, so I'm really not going to apologize today. But how do you spell Jack K420? J-A-C-K-E-Y. J-A-C-K-E-Y. Jack K. So this is Jack K. And I, I, you guys should all like and subscribe. I'm doing it. I tried this Jack It's actually him. Same guy that's on there. It's crazy. Oh, you didn't hit that notification bell. No. Oh, no, I don't want to make <laughs> I don't. I don't need more notifications. <laughs> but this was the one that, dude, I'll show you the video that really, I, I was really on, uh, that really the Jack A420 Doug Smasher. And I have before you go do the yeah. the smash, I got a wireless mic. Okay. Talk for over there. Alright, for sure. Um Oh, this is the one that I like. Going with the Haneft in it? What's yes, up, my right ninja? <laughs> In this episode, you know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, I'm here chilling with the Haneps. You know what I'm saying? Say what's up. Oh man, say what's up. Piece of cake. All right, and we are working with the. Four All right, so we're gonna show you actually the the Nug Smasher. This was Hanep. This are the people rep for Hemp Genics. I gotta love that. You go over there. If you're gonna start your thing, oh, you're gonna warm it up. Okay, because when you do that, I need to put you on your mic. So this is. Chuck's back. Chuck's back. What's up, Chuck? So this is uh, this is Jack K4. And I know usually I keep it on the uh, on the for the videos, and I, I mean we call it growing and stuff like. That. Um, if you go right behind through the above the sink, I think I have a couple of my catch toys. Okay, good morning. Volume's on 100, Meta, New York. All right, so this mic's going. So it is what it is. Listen, I got a guy coming in. I'm going to have this place wired. We're expanding into the back. This is literally like you've watched me come up. You know all these cameras that I have around my show? I got seven cameras in my store, plus the other three I'm not even using. And now I have to buy all new cameras again. Do I have to buy all new cameras? Because I need onboard chips. So now I've got to buy the Logitech. It's like that South Park thing where now we need we need gun cannons for our ship. <laughs> for the you know what I mean? Like I can't it's not it's tough to keep up. Alright. Come over here. If you're gonna stay over there, come here and put this on. Dang, I feel legit now. Dude. I'm telling you, as okay. soon as you get the Sham Wow mic, uh -huh. I want to do a Sham. Yes, mics are active. If you guys will let me know how uh, how those mics. Take a roll call. Oh, I got. Oh, uh, my roll call is a little vicious. Take my roll call. I just do a normal roll call. People know how I do my roll call here. <laughs> oh, take a roll call. A roll call. You do a roll call. This I, I like what I like what you do. With how you go? You got style, dude. I got a lot of personality. I don't. I don't. Uh, wow, you have like 160 people here. That's a lot of. That's a lot of name for me to call out. <laughs> but if you want me to do it, I go right at it. I go right at it. I'm gonna go for the participant. People that are in here already. Okay, so Jack A comes in, and he's telling me yesterday about all these other people that that do. That you, uh, who's, uh... The 420 who's, community. The 420 community. There's a whole 420 community. So, listen, I, we were talking about advertising and how the robots can go national. And I started thinking about how do all the other people that do what I do that don't have a book and don't have people paying to run commercials, how do they do what I do? Because I came up from an entirely different path. I was, like, straight top down. I just assumed doing it. I show up. Like, all my customers show up. What's up? Here I am! <laughs> And I got spanked online for the behavior. I mean, I can't deny that I was spanked online. But, so now I'm looking at expanding. So now I'm looking at what all the other bros are doing. 
Okay, so, okay, so, how'd that put, bitch? <laughs> um, bad audio, shit. Okay, so, so anyway, so. Uh, New York, John said, tell boss to fix his mic. Okay, so I got my Growboss wireless mic. Let's see if I can do this without. Around mic check. Should have been done before. Oh, man. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, it should have been done before the show, totally. Except I do the show work weekends. We'll get it. We'll get it. Listen, it's a free show. You guys are watching it happen. This is the behind the scenes magic. Okay, Growboss wireless. This should. For sure, my ninja. Oh, my God, finally. Okay. Better, thank you. Way better. Yes, thank you. All right, listen, I appreciate you guys hanging out and helping me. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to hire an engineer, and as soon as I have to hire an engineer, you're going to pay me for the show. Or, you know what I mean? No, so, no. so we got to, I have to keep it to that extent. I have to, uh, I have to, oh, uh, thank you, Semit. Okay. It, it's tough, dude. There's seven mics, nine monitors, three people, me, my ego. So I show up, right, and, and I show up on the scene of doing YouTube, and I'm sponsored in a way that no one else is, and I can sell product in the way because this is how I planned it. But then I, I got people coming in my store from all over. Oh, my God, it's a grow boss. Give me a hug. Gah! So they come in and they talk to me, and then I meet, like, Jack A420, and Hemp Genix comes in, Lady Hanep and her husband. And it's a whole... It's a whole... Oh, I bet I could get a volunteer engineer, but... Oh, hit your notification button, subscribe to the channel, like the video, call me up and tell me how awesome I am. So I've been listening to the other channels and I started watching their videos yesterday because in my entire life, I have watched less than nine seconds of the Kardashians in my entire life and was only casually passing them on the way to somewhere else. I've read more headlines. I've watched one minute of other people's videos for cannabis, and it's painful. Uh, and some of the other guys with books, I've watched their videos, and I was like, ah, you know what? I might as well just leave it alone, do it, whatever it is I'm going to do, and just figure it out as I go. But now I'm here, and, <clears throat> and I got literally introduced to this product called, this website called uh, Sling. No, it wasn't Sling. What's it called? Social Blade. Social Blade. Blade. Oh, dude. Social Blade. You guys know I'm a, I'm a status, I'm a, oh. It says, You're a status it, whore? Yeah, but it, it, look at the word it says up there. It says analytics made easy. What is this website? Okay, so this website, I was like, I was like terrible there. You know what I mean? That was, that's awful. I feel like, like Final Destination. I made an awful joke earlier and now this word shows up. Okay, this is thegrow boss.com check oh no 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 the grow boss sorry sorry it's the grow boss and now you go to social blade and suddenly okay the b rating isn't for my style that's just positioning but you can see on average i get 30 subscribers a day i get 5500 video views a day you can see statistics and then we look at like other people's statistics like um uh let's see ed rosenthal here we go this is another guy who writes a book so i'm at 30 and 5,500 views. So then there is Ed Rosenthal. Uh, oh, you know what? It's actually Ed. Let's do this. Let's try this one. Oh, look up three light. That's so smart, Chuck. So we'll select channel. Okay, so this guy's got... This guy's got... Okay, I think he has a private channel. That's why his numbers are so low. But, you know, he's got a, a ranking. And then, like, I went to look at, I went to look at, yeah, this guy, the man, the Bible. Jorge. Jorge. Dude, he's got 140,000 to my 36,000. But I've started in, uh, like, I think it was like 2016, and he's 2010. So I'm on scale and scope. But he's got almost 60. He's got almost twice what I have and, you know, 50% more overall what he does. But then there was, dude, somebody like, uh, um, uh, who's, uh, who's Muscle Shirt? 
Oh, uh, five hit guy. Custom Grow Foe 20, oh, the Custom number one Grow. WeTuber. Oh, dude, this guy just fucking rocks. Custom Grow 420. The number one WeTuber. The number one WeTuber. Dude, look at this guy. He's, he's grown on me, and look at the shirt. You know why, you know why I wear two shirts like this? It's not because it's not because I'm tatted or I'm a heroin addict. It's because, dude, I was wearing shirts early on in the videos where my collars are all down here. The shirts are like seven years old. They're as old as my underwear. You know what I mean? There's like, and then I look at this guy, and I'm like, he just puts it out there. But he put this video together with like five bong hits, one breath. Oh, dude, it was so good. And this guy's got. 540 a day with 77,000 views. He's literally like 15 times what I do. He's smokers. He's not a book. He's smokers. He's so a it's, a, it's a different audience. But, yeah. How's your, uh, how's, how's your, uh, how is your Nug Smasher? My Nug Smasher is ready to go. I need some scissors so I can cut up the parchment paper and then fit it all up. Oh, let me grab that, uh. One sponsor, eighth from Euphoria Wellness. <laughs> Let me get this. Hey, give me a, give me a, give me a count. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. you're good. They said yes. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, so. Jack Hay, 420. Dude, I'm telling you, man, I was looking at all these YouTubers, and I'm like, they got some serious personality. Like, yeah. I can show up and be a dick because I come from a different perspective, like from vendors and the other side of thing with the book. But all these, everyone else is, like, super nice. <laughs> like, Custom Grow 420. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are all part of that 420 community with him as well. Like, Custom Grow 420 is, uh, you know what I mean? It's like, he was having so much fun. Oh, yes. I'm coming off all angry. Like, I'm angry at my customers, and I'm angry at my growers. I am glad uh, paid views are the new thing. Okay, no. Okay, so, uh, listen, I've got, here's the problem with the camera that's the close-up. So, this is the QVC channel. Uh, this is where we could display something, and you can see the ha what's happening with our hands. The problem is th you can only use one Logitech camera, one 270, one 510, one two. Uh, so I've got like seven different cameras here because you can't duplicate them, or you can only control one and not the other. So the technology is weird. So now that I bought 10 cameras and I've learned this, what I'm going to do is buy 10 more cameras that are the 920s with the onboard programmable chip. So I'm going to once again upgrade my entire system along with the sound controllers, along with the, a soundboard, and I'm going to bring in a system engineer. But I couldn't do that until, check it out, tell me all about it, Jack, eh? All right, this is uh, uh, Summers Bud from um, Euphoria Wellness on the southwest side. This was gifted to us for us to squeeze. So thank you, Euphoria. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to squeeze out an ace. I'm just going to put the eighth up in this bag. If you guys don't know what this uh, rosin press, if you guys don't even know what rosin is, it's like, uh, you know when you guys dab? It's another, it's another form of concentrates. That's very pop these days and that's what I'm here to make All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I don't know if you guys want to see the flower this is the mother's milk right. you see that right. so I'm gonna be I'll be squeezing that up. <laughs> right. See the, the camera's not bad. Oh this oh this is a nice camera. Oh, wrong one. Now, does the quality of the uh, bud affect the quality of the rosin? Yes, robin? yes. Each bud, this bud, if I push this before, it should come out like a nice golden. One thing about rosin, the next day, for some reason, it changes its component where it could be like really sticky. And all of a sudden, it turns to pudding the next day. Hmm. Especially this one right here, the mother's. There's milk. One of my favorite, but depressed. So See, I'm sorry to bug you, but I'm behind you. Would you grab two waters out of the fridge, please? Oh, yeah. 
So let me stuff this butt up. This nice bag. Oh, you're, I'm all reading. You're doing your thing. I'm like assuming like everybody else is just sitting at home getting high with yeah, nothing to uh, nothing to uh, nothing to do. Yeah, it's the best. Oh my god! Packing that sock over there. Yeah, I want to pack this tight as I can. Filter sock. See, this this is a micron bag. This is. 90 90 microns that's the third smallest bag on the if you were to look at the would you go grab uh, three, bubble bag yeah chart? would you go grab bubble bag uh, you, yeah. the one that in fact uh, yeah just grab any one it doesn't matter which one it is All right. we can uh, All right, here we go we go to awesome. Chuck in the store there's Chuck grabbing a bubble bag in the store cam Sweet. Here is uh there is that one. It's in there. All right. Cut this a little bit more. Um can you really? Dude, what is well um Checking it out. All right. Ready for this process? Tight. Hey, I, I don't see it on Walmart. I was looking for Nug Smasher on Walmart. Somebody said uh, they do have a, a a Walmart version. What's it called? I'm not sure. Just just look up. I don't know how Walmart would would. would Place that as Bud Smasher? No, 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 no. There's got to be like, uh, no, it's got to be like. Uh, you got your back to the cam. Nobody can see. Step to the side. There okay, you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You Here you go. See what you look like. If you look in the front of the store, top right. See that TV up there? That's you. Oh shit! Look up. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. I got so you. You can see what you look like. All right. I just want to get this rosin press. Rosin press. Thank you, dude. I really gotta say, I like, I like the. I like. Oh, dude. There you go. Oh, rinky dink tags and label heat press. Oh, these are. Those are. Oh, dude. Heat press for hats. Is that the code word? This is the heat press for hats. Dude, look up on look up on your screen. If you can not if you can look away. Is that it says heat press for hats. Is that code word for uh? Okay, that's some, that is a, some kind of press right there. I don't because know. Because I've seen that handle on cannabis presses before. All right, I'm going to timer on this. All right. Let's see. I'm saying here. We're going to need a timer. It's okay. I can keep on looking. I see rosin presses and kids' toys. Perfect for Walmart. Oh, there's only one heat plate on this. Okay. That's what makes it like that. All right. Oh, whatever. Ryan okay. Hey, Ryan. Ryan ate poker. Uh, um, I appreciate the. Uh, okay. <laughs> I appreciate the uh, offer for the mic help. I, I am going to buy a system. And listen, I didn't know what we were going to do with the show, right? Like, I mean, who knew what we were going to do with the show? I, 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 you know, at some point, you just start stuff, and you throw it at the wall. And you want to come stick. take a little close look of the yeah. the juice that's coming up? You see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going uh, to see that right let's, there. It's coming oh, out. This, wait, wait. I got oh, that. this is a very clean track. All right. Let's see how that oozes out. How golden it is. That's all natural. Okay, so really what we're talking about here is we talk about wax and we talk about shatter and we talk about like
butane oil extraction and BHO, butane hash oil, all of these things use what's called a solvent. Now a solvent, are these are the things that dissolve chemicals. For instance, if you've got grease or paint on your hands and you use something like a thinner, like a lacquer thinner or a paint thinner to get it off, these are all solvents. And this is, for instance, you go to first press olive oil. First press olive oil is one thing, but then they use benzene to extract the next couple of batches, the second and third batch. So they have a solvent, and these are the things that they don't allow inside. Um, oh, look at inside, this. Well, this is beautiful um, over here, you Like guys. trash. You're not allowed to throw that stuff in your trash. They're not allowed to go out to the dump. And, and basically what a solvent does is it takes the, the THC. This is the oils and the, and the shine and the sweet. If you want to look up there, look, look above me, and you can see what, look above me, too. Okay. You can see what you're doing. Yeah. And so these are all the things that get extracted. And you, you read about CO2 extraction, and you, you watch videos on butane extraction and propane extraction and all these types of extraction. And they all involve a solvent where this right here. Now, they all produce the same thing. They all are meant to take the... This is the Nug Smasher 6000 Robocop Edition. And so this is, this takes the wax off and it does it. Oh, 2.8, look, there's a little bit of time involved. There's a little bit. Jack K wasn't really yeah. forthcoming with the I'm secret on, process. I'm on the very time. If, if you press it longer, it'll turn brown. The, it'll, 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 the juice will cook a little too much and then, you know, it'll turn brown. Right now, there's like a perfect gold color. Look at that. Okay. Will you run one a little long for us too? So keep this, keep it. What we can see one good example. Okay. And then let's run a bad example. So um, each bud. So we'll find out by one thirty. By the time it oozes, you know your. Okay. I'd like to see one rune because it's always, you know, as a grower, you always try to find the edges. You're always okay. trying to learn what is and isn't it. People talk about experimenting, but I talk about there's a difference between experiment. Dude, that is so crack-like. Uh -huh. That is so crack-like. Uh -huh. But again, there's no CO2. Nothing. There's no propane. There's no butane. Because I got to tell you, I went to the, I'll tell you another get old fucking story. Um, I went to the doctor because my, my glands were swollen in my throat. My glands were my glands were swollen. It was like, you know what I mean. It was like up in here, and I was like, "Fuck, what is it?" Remember a this few months a ago, I was smoking. Yeah, it's a little I was tool. smoking wax on the show because my throat hurt. Dude, you, turns you, out that the salt. You do that. that the you do that. that take some more. Does the same thing to a couple other people I know. I was speaking take to. Take some about. more. Take some more. All right, there you go. There so you go. So salt is a motherfucker. Like I can't tell you how many people I know got sick because they had like solvent. Um, or jet fuel, or like milk with the antibodies and the anti-inflammatory that it creates. This is nice. All right, nobody's complaining about the sound. Nobody's, <laughs> there are no problems at the moment. Dude. It's, uh... <laughs> it's a lot to do sitting here on the show going through all this. Hey, that's why Howard Stern has Baba Booey. Baba Booey. I'm going to throw my discount code. What's your discount code? It's my ninja. Okay, okay. What's So we're going to uh, what? Nug Smasher. What, what's the website? Dot com. Nug Smasher dot com. Okay, so you go here, you go here, and you nugsmasher.com. There's a couple different varieties. We're using this mid-sized one. They've got a smaller one here. There's the big one. <laughs> there you go. That was very, that was very adjective of me to describe them just like that. Yes, the middle one right here at Square Place. Fits perfect next to the microwave. My wife's doing dishes. I'm squeezing blood. You know, everybody's happy. Like All right, let's take a look at this. Bam! Look how golden oh, this is. Oh, you know what? This hang on, is hang on. beautiful. Let me, right. let me, uh, Go ahead. That's a that's on top shelf professional press right there. Check out that top shelf professional. press. That's just off an eighth. And that was off an eighth. Oh, dude. 
think that was done in less than five minutes. Too. I'm not sure how much that paperwork. I would say it's a maybe a point two, point three paper. I'm not sure. Okay. All those. I mean, I want to get like a point six, point seven, pretty much off this if I can. Okay. So one point three. So you're if you started off with three point five, you're at thirty percent. So you've lost sixty percent of the weight. One point one. Maybe there's a little bit of wind in here. So you lose about one point one on three point five. Uh -huh. So you lose sixty six percent of the weight. And let's make sure it's zeroed out. So even if this was 1.0, right. you know what I mean? Like 60, 70% of the weight. Oh. There's a little bit of wind going on. Okay. Mm. But that's... That's a nice yield. That's a nice yield. And, that's a nice and it yield. Looks fantastic. Um, let's, uh, let's just double check this scale because yeah. we all know what five nickels is. So five nickels is pretty close. It's supposed to be... Let's... Is this thing, it's not really level. What, is there a stick? Oh, motherfucker, it's missing a foot pad. Okay. Oh, it's not level again, because there's, I got to take all four. They say my mic is bad. Who's what? It? Say that again. Weed Hub said my mic is bad. Well, let's, well is it better, guys? Are you doing something live on your thing? Um, no, I'm looking at your chat. I'm with your chat, so I can see the chat on myself. Oh, you can. Oh, cause I don't. Guy, yeah, I don't see it. Okay, I turned your mic up. Hello, hello. Can y'all hear me? Too loud. God. Okay, I'm turning you down. Hit the stove. Yeah. Cheers. Okay, so here is Tara. This is more oh. even now. Oh, I'm sorry. I got something. Hold on. Where's it? Oh my God. Tell me I brought it. Oh, yes. This is from Ben Inya. Ben Inya, if you hear us, jump out in the chat, please. He got you some terps from this hemp fest. Dude, you are so good. Okay, with that. Dude, you are so good with terp the socks. name dropping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even my boy Ben Inya out there, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, usually, I mean, I usually put it around the, the bottom part of the joint so we get that nice taste. Or when I take a dab, I do like a little, just a little dab. dab. Focus, people. Focus. There you go. So that's this bottle. So what am I supposed to do with this bottle? Now? Um, It's pretty much it's just for flavor and for taste. So pretty much, if you have some a horrible weed, like you roll a joint, you put that on the end of the, you know, and a joint. You you could put a little a little drop of that. What is it? It's just just it, it helps it's bring up. It just turns. Yeah, it just gives it a little, you know. So if your shit is bad, you want to make it taste good and smell good. Ah, the new feature. Yeah. I wouldn't put a lot, just put a little, yeah, you know. it's like flavored bomb <laughs> water. Oh, so take great purpose okay. and mix it with Also, oh, let me get out of you guys' way. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. I'm going to put a dab on this. It goes on the edge real quick, so you go like oh. this. Oh, I was going to use this thing right here for a dab. Oh, oh shit. I was going to pull a little dab. That's fine. Yeah, and so, it, what do you do? I just try to put a little bit, put a little bud, like a little buzz. I can just dip it real quick. How does it do that? A little, little bud like this? All right, so... Okay, so Jack K420 has his back to you, but what he's done is he's... Uh, hopefully, is, hopefully I did do something. A, or you want to put a little there's, drop, there's it's up to you. There's a little dabber on the back of the cap that goes on top of the jar. So there is a, there is a little dab of that. You know, some, you got to pay attention, man. Sometimes this shit, they work in micro doses. <laughs> okay. Hey, pull the mic away from you. Ben, just just that part. There you go. Let's try it like that. Casting, casting. Okay. Thank you. I got the... Thank you, Lone Wolf. I turned down the guest. Jackie's cracking. How do you turn that? Oh, Angela Grace. Oh, the little sad ducky. Oh, and Angela has her, her... No more data on phone and power is out. Okay. If used wrong, can be toxic. Not too much. Not too much. Where the fuck does that say that on this <laughs> jar? You know what happens too much? My dumb ass is going to try it. What's going to happen to me? Am I going to grow hair on my back? <laughs> I don't want more hair on my back. That would be a terrible side effect.
Uh, yeah, okay. Listen, this is the best I can do. It, it, I moved Jack Hayes mic away. Um, Hempgenix will have will have terpenes in October. God, I feel like I'm such a part of the 420 community, sitting here, reading stuff off, Talking. letting you do your thing, <laughs> hanging out, smoking. It's weird because I'm not usually like a play well with others guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. You play well with certain people. Oh, listen, this is, listen, I love this Freebaser crack. Ain't so far from the truth. I like making crack. I like smoking crack. I like watching people make crack. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's time for us to take a dab and play your eight game, huh? Yeah, ready for the game. There's a rig. Guess, Guess what? what? I, I bought, and at the time I bought. Uh, <laughs> no? Okay. Let me take a nice dab, man. Dude, those nice terpenes dab. taste good. That is definitely something you can taste on there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got the water on this. I'm just going to make a, take a light I, Listen, if, if I had to get high, if I had to build the bong every time, twist something like this, drill a fucking hole in it like a kid that goes to Home Depot to build a birdhouse. If there was like, you know, something straight out of Dr. Seuss, bing, bing, puff of smoke comes out, you get a hit. Oh, dude. Okay, real boss, how do you use this? Crack is whack. It's awful. Just click crack it. is a fucking disaster. Um, you'll turn it one click to the right. Oh, okay. it goes one click, one click to the left. Push it in. Don't aim it at your face. There you go. What do you got? Oh, oh, it's up. It's for, look. Check out this little. Oh, oh that's the, the press. The rosin chip. I mean, okay. yeah, you can use it to make um, edibles off that or something, you know. Um. Okay, so here's the rosin press. You, you got to admit that. What did you start off with? An eighth? Yeah, that was exactly uh, three exactly. point five. So there you go, with a little bit of the. Um, hey Chuck, would you bring over one of those little rosin bags from Jack Hayes' table? Oh, um, Jack Hayes echoes a little, so uh, turn this mic off. Okay, because he's standing next to the other mic. Okay, all right. It's not the quality of the mic. It, I don't need a Sennheiser. I, I don't need that. It's not the quality of the mic. It's the engineer is a disaster. And there's too much going on. What do you want? The rosin. Rosin. Is this your first dab on the show? Did no, have... no, dude. Yeah. I had a whole episode where, where I literally freaked out. Like, uh. Did you want the like first dab? Bro boss. Sure. All right, there you go. Here you go. Take it now. Dab it on some rosin. Mother's milk. <coughs> Why do I smoke that much? Stop that. I think you take it kind of hot. When you take it, when you take a hot dab, you barely taste the terps. <laughs> you get ready to take a bong hit after that. Oh we. I'm gonna take a nice fat one. <coughs> okay, okay. So, yeah. Holler back, dude. You are the best. Thanks for that. Post. <coughs> this is uh, this video here is me overdosing. <coughs> uh, dude, stink. I'm too high already. It hits you right in your eye. You got that Korean look. <coughs> All right, here we go. Cheers. Listen, subscribe to my life, right? Like my channel. Eat healthy. Ah, I'm so high. It's so fast. <coughs> <coughs> I just don't like the high. Now I'm just pissed off with an hour to go. <coughs> okay. If we have to get that CBD in no, you. No, listen. What up? That is not true. You want to know what you want to. Listen, this is the video of my dumb ass getting high. Literally, like, look at me. Look how nervous I am. It's crazy. Uh, you know what? I got to tell you. 
I got to tell you, I am already. I am. I, I got to tell you, I am all. Hydroponics. Yeah, yeah, we open at 11. All right, stop in. I'll give you a copy of my book. Oh, you already got a copy? Okay, all right, bye. <coughs> okay, if you're going to sit right there, then... Okay, now you're going to walk around. Oh, we're going to... Okay, so let me turn off the guest mic, and will everybody... Okay, so we're all talking in... They're talking into this mic, and I'm talking into this mic, so... Um, <clears throat> um, oh, one, I wanted to, I wanted to weigh this because I'm thinking it's like, what, point three point, it's not even, oh yeah. So there was this, we're the, this and this, oh, okay. So I just wanted to do one more quick thing. This and this, that was the hockey puck and that weigh 4.1. This by itself, I mean, there's the. You know what I mean? Like between the pa the parchment and this, here is three and a half grams that, you know, I mean, it went from one thing to one thing. So it smoked like a point three all. <clears throat> okay. Listen, I got to tell you, I am, you know, what? I don't think it's the quantity of whatever that is because I just hit that again and I absolutely hate it. I am so high. I'm nauseous from it. Smoked some of the, the rosin. Maybe we should get some CBD. Okay, I am 100%. I got to tell you, like the back of my arms, like I'm feeling anxious. I, I like as soon as I took it, I just felt like no, 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 no. I just hit that. Yeah, yeah, none of that. I just hit that. You just take Dude. the CBD. Dude, Mike. Okay, so uh, listen, I, 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 I can feel, I can feel already how I look like this video where i'm like look look at me touching my teeth dude i'm i'm about to touch my teeth like right now i feel like the same fingertip anxiety face i mean it's clearly that it's clearly that because i wasn't blowing the hit out before it <clears throat> but it is a super duper friggin body high 214 good morning hey bro how you doing yeah. I am. Hey, put a little CBD underneath your tongue. It'll probably help you level up. Okay. Okay. So we're saying. Okay. Now I, I appreciate CBD. that. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So this is this is yeah. CBD oil. Two five. And this is what, dude. I'm so stupid. Okay. Great episode, huh? <clears throat> okay. So this is what happened last time, right? You guys literally watched me just. You guys literally just watched me trip out on this last time. And. <coughs> God. You know what I got to tell you? Having you two here when I'm tripping out is really like. It is really worse than last time. And so I will say that I've taken some of this yesterday just to see if it yeah. made me stupid or anything. Uh -huh. Um, so I will try it right now. Try um, oh, I have to. I have to because the only thing that could make this worse is if it just got worse. Because I am so bothered right now. Very yeah, helps. I've read that somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything on the internet is true. <laughs> no. Dude, that's me last time. 20 drops. It's still under it's my daily. tongue. How many? 20 drops. 20 drops. Twice daily. Or as desired. You'll be alright. Get that mother's milk is some that mother's milk. Dude, I'm too fucking high. Like, like, like I don't want you looking at me. I'm so okay, high. Dude. No, it's okay. It, it, it is what it is. I'll tell you how I'm feeling, but I gotta tell you, it's like it's a thing. 
Yeah, rosin to me is like one of the. I think for me is one of the strongest concentrated smells. Yeah. You know. All right, All right nine five one. Let them talk. You and I will talk over here. What's going on? Nine five one. Hey. Hey, nine five one. Hey, bro. Hey. It's just me and you. What can I do for you? You got dad. That is hilarious. Oh, dude. He's talking about. He's talking about when I got dabbed out on the other episode. That's. I can see you right now. That belly going down and down. You're getting quieter and quieter. Right. Are, oh, you're, you're, I'm sorry, you were breaking up. It took me a sec. Do we have the remote for that TV? Did I set it down? Oh, man. I can't. Uh, that's funny. You're talking about my behavior, right? I got quieter and quieter. Yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, the lone wolf just. Go on. Good note, sorry, go on. Yeah, I just want to think about, man, this film, man, helping out growing out. This film, my, like, good, like, two harvests already. Uh, my third one going out pretty great. Sweet. Congratulations. All right, listen. Um, I, I, it's funny that when you're out, you know, when you're on the other side of it, you know, I tell you the stories of, like, stuff that I do and, you know, like some of the paramedic stuff, and you walk in and you sort of see things. And it's funny when you get called on your own shit, because here's a guy who calls me and he says, suddenly you get quieter. I want a chocolate bar. You're right. Dude. I, I, I gotta say, though, I mean, the lone wolf sent me a text. She said, she said, can you feel your teeth? Snap out of it, have fun. But I gotta tell you, it's not the thing where you can snap out of it for me. It really, although I do have to tell you, <laughs> very that is, dude. <laughs> <Very funny. laughs> if if I was literally about to have an anxiety attack, that is exactly mm. as promised. <sighs> I, I've still got like a little teeth clenching, wait, but wait. like right now, I wouldn't take more of that because I think if I wait three more minutes, uh -huh. it'll feel more better. Uh, It'll feel better. Yeah. I'll continue on the trajectory of feeling better. Dude, it is literally just like that. I almost want to smoke another hit of that. I'm not going to. You know, we, well, we could But miss, I'm not going to. We could, we could uh, do, later on, do a dab with the CBD. <coughs> okay. Hey, hey, last time you took a dab, that was my dab. I take fat dabs. So you took a fat ass dab, and that's what happened. But you're mm. good now. You got that CBD magic. That miracle medicine in you, you're good. So that's CBD too. Yeah, those are all oh, okay. CBD. Okay. It's yeah. Look at it. It looks like coke. My son. It's powdered it's out. Like, it's like powdered sugar. I want. I wanted to sniff that on one of my. Wow. Sugar. You could bake with it, though. <laughs> wow. Do it. Oh. So. <clears throat> oh, dude. I will, Richie Rich. I will get that wig out. I was thinking about it this morning. I was gonna open my show because if I have a wig. That solves my lighting problem, doesn't it? Boom. No Red. more reflection. Chuck is sitting up there. Red. Maybe that's Red. what I need to do is raise the, the you know the wig from uh Ricky Rev. Oh uh, yeah, it's uh um I love Ricky. Um this is uh Okay, so this is me and Chuck doing a video in the Yikes. Store. Remember this video? Uh, yes. Love it. Two one four. What do you think? Hey, uh, hey, I'm just gonna ask you a question about the uh, news burn. Uh, basically, once you get those little, you know, tips, uh, burn tips, it, what is the process from there? Basically, back off. I mean, is it irreversible? The oh, it is. Necrotic is never reversible. Dead is dead necrotic is not reversible so let me nutrient tip burn cannabis leaf. It, it, it is, is very, very minor. minor it's not it's, it's, it's very, very minor, minor but, but i've, I've, I've seen, seen it bad okay I just want to point out that when nutrient tip burn specifically is when you either overwatered, rotted the roots. 
and a normal amount of nutrients then becomes toxic. Or you've used too many nutrients and your leaves then come right up at the edge and you get crispy and crunchy starting at the top and from the outside in. This is more chronic a little bit. Um, this is, this isn't that. Uh, this is, here's a good, good example. Oh, uh, you can't save that. You probably can't even stop it because think about it in terms of a gradient. If it's killing the tip, that's not where the problem is. The problem has happened all the way up the plant. So yeah, that's what I tell need. you guys. All right, listen. I, yeah, yeah, listen. I, I, listen, I appreciate I think it. All Sorry, okay. say, it, say it again. Thank Sorry, you. say that again. Wait, wait, say that again. I, I think the salt nutrients, I, 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 I don't, I don't buy like, in the honey tonics or I use like my, uh, I got a cow mag in the salt form and then, and then I also have like a, you know, a, a, a grower over here. I actually got some kelp left at home. Well, no, and, 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 okay, no, listen, thanks for the call. And if you're gonna if you're gonna say you're using someone's recipe, don't tell me you burned their plants on the air. So, I just want to point out that anybody's recipe is a recipe, and all conditions are different. So, I appreciate the call two one four. Listen, I, I got to tell you though that as soon as you use nutrient salts, just remember that news article where the uh, where that before the polo match, the doctor gets his his concentrate made. From uh, his combination made from a local pharma, and by the time he's in done injecting horse six, horse one falls over dead, and all the horses died because he got a point one, he got a point zero one instead of point zero zero one. I'm it just saying like CBD dab. Yes. No, so so There's mixing no your own powders is, right now, right? is, uh, <clears throat> is always a difficult oh, thing. Oh boy. Um, I got to tell you that um, he's not gonna knock the table over, is he? That I am no. going to uh, do this again. So strong. Um, I'm pissed if I have a seizure. <laughs> You're not going to have a seizure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Uh, Annette said if you take a quick dab of this, it's like, boom, instantly. I'll take a CB dab with you. You want to take a CB dab? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm working on something. I'll tell you, I have all the, um, uh, it comes back in a wave. Like the anxiety comes back in a wave. Um, even when you treat people with a drug, sometimes you have to treat... Um, monitor the results and then and then and then retreat. So it said twenty drops. I'm on like ten drops or maybe maybe fifteen. I have major anxiety too. I had to. I had anxiety before I was coming. I was so nervous. I had to pop like half a half a Xanax. Oh, dear. To get her. Medical <sighs> subscribed. I have it bad. I I used to be worse. I used to be worse. I've never had anxiety attacks from. The, f the first time oils, I had the first time I had dabs. an anxiety attack, I thought it was a, a high. I was like, "What the fuck is this weird ass feeling?" You know, not knowing that it was an anxiety attack, not a high. You know, so I was tripping out hard. Those high end Western, the, <laughs> the high end antipsychotic Western drugs, Xanax and stuff like that, it always bothers me. With uh, they, they always bother me. Seven eight one. Good morning. What up? What up? What up? So, uh, I got a question for you. Okay. Um, I have a, uh, 5 by 10 10, ten. and I have, a just a 1,000 watt, um, light to put in it. Is that too big of a, too big of a space for that? No, if you put it on a mover, you'll probably have a good time. I'm going to say light rail. Yeah, light rail, light rail. Right. No, I do, I did... I did put a light rail on it. Um, I mean, should I let it with the whole length, like line it up in the middle, <coughs> try to utilize it, or should I kind of like, you know, not maybe leave an area on the side open for uh, maybe a dehumidifier or, you know, just. You know, I was wondering if I should try to fill the canopy in the whole space. What size hood do you have? What size what? What size hood? Uh, the hood, the glass. What? Um, it's a, uh, ma a Magnum Triple uh, XL. Okay, if you have a Triple XL, you're probably going to use almost all five feet, and you'll probably do like eight feet of the tent. You're probably going to want to do like a 
four by eight, a five by eight, a four by ten, maybe. You don't have the difference here is focus hood versus very wide hood. If you have a wide hood, you're going to end up getting a little bit closer to keep the angle, and by a little bit closer, I mean you'll probably finish at three and a half feet. Finish at three and a half feet. You will probably finish at three and a half feet away. So you'll probably start flower at four and a half feet away. Four and a half feet with a supersized hood gets you a wide footprint. So you're probably going to do, um, uh, let me, in, to, just to give you a comparison here. Um, this, this picture here has, has big hoods, non-vented, and they're finishing about as far away as you're talking about. Now he's got two over a four by eight with the side six inch hanging over on each side, which makes it a five by nine table. So you have one light. So you can't go two lights worth, but you can go one and a half hoods worth. So you got a three foot hood, you could go six feet. See what I'm saying? All right, so I should probably, you know, line it up in the middle and then yes. kind of, you know, maybe have a little bit of a space on either side of, uh, of the yeah. canopy. That sounds right, because you're going to get maximum light spread. Right. That's the whole thing about the big hood is maximum light spread versus, and you can see that when you look at look at the look at the hood of my store. Those two hoods, even though they have compact fluorescence in them, those are the smaller hoods. Those light tend to stay more focused, more of more of the light. The bulb is physically the bulb is higher in the hood, and more of the light is reflected down. That keeps it collimated. So if you had a collimated hood, I would have suggested you offset it toward the back and run it in a four by eight like that. Because you have a wide hood, you are going to center it. You're going to take the width. You're going to use five by six, five by eight, five by eight feet of the tent, somewhere in there. Keep your plant short. See what I'm saying? Yep. All right, listen, I appreciate the call. And I got to tell you, after doing this a couple of minutes, after doing that, I He's feel back. better again. He's back. I feel better again. I waited through the call. I just did my job. Yep. And I waited through the call, and I feel better again. But I feel like I wouldn't want a day of smoking that and taking <laughs> that. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want that to be my situation. That's couch material. That is, that is, I gotta tell you, it's, it's, it's remarkable. Are those people 801, good morning. Uh -huh. Are those people commenting? Oh yeah, it's going, the chat yeah, is lit one. right now. We call that lit chat when the thing is just going off. 801. 801. Cool. Come back. back. I rarely, when I do my live, I'm known to just to talk to the chat. Oh, so you, yeah, that's the thing is you engage the chat. Yeah, I'm always engaging with my chat, you know what I'm saying? So much love to Albert for coming oh, out, you know? 781, good morning. Everybody. You no, know, everybody. Yeah, because I just connected there. Oh. Um, no. Just another question as far as uh, cooling is Is there anything, like, I, I want to bring in cold air um, from the outside, like, because uh, we're going into winter um, in the uh, New England. Um, would there be an issue with that, like, with the cold air coming in? I'm kind of worried about maybe increasing the humidity or it being too cold. Okay. Too cold, I don't know where you live. It doesn't exist here. Where, but if it's too cold for you, don't do it. Set your fan to a thermostat on the inside at the high end. So what you're gonna do is your room gets to 80, you're gonna bring in, your room gets to 90, you're gonna bring in cold air and take it down to 70. So you would use a, 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 a thermal regulator instead of turning on an AC, instead of turning on a heater, Instead of using some 15 amp circuit, you're going to open up a uh, you know 75 amp six inch fan, or shit at that point you get a little fart snatcher fan. You know what I mean? You could uh, you don't need much to back it. Sometimes it gets so cold, right? You just blow a little bit, leave the window open. So in terms of that, maybe like a box fan in the window that turns on with a thermostat. So get yourself like a um, you know what I'll, sh I'll even show you. Let's go Google. We'll do a uh, straight up, um, let's do a uh, Titan um, temp 
I think I, I, I think I have a feeling. I think have the uh, four-inch uh, vortex I'm planning on using to pump that area. Yeah, and, and it's not even like a, 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 a like anything. Um, yeah, let's turn that off. Now with, with that, <laughs> now with the cold air, do you think I should run it without any type of ventilation on the hood? Just take the glass off and run it open. Just remember the hood produces X heat. It, it's a fixed equation. If it's on, it's producing X amount of heat. See, that was a whole lot going on. All right. Okay, so that was, so my, my observation is it produces X heat. I don't care if you extract the heat direct from the hood. I don't care if you put enough cold air in to deal with the heat. Just consider the light a heat production. It is a heat creating, it is an artificial sun. That's all we're talking about. They're calling you out. What? That one video we made where you're... We took the hood and you diced it up and put the how much yes. footage is on there. Oh, yeah. So, so you see my point, point like the, the, whatever light you buy, whatever light you buy, it produces X heat. You just have to be prepared to deal with it. All right, listen, thanks for the call. You just have to be prepared to deal with it in X space. Okay. You good? How about it? I think I'm taking a nice fat CBD. See, I'm not, this is, I got <laughs> left off with flowers. You know what I mean? Like some people may like it like this. Some people may want to, you know, vape it in a pen. But I got to tell you, I'm a globber. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a fan at all. It's too much. It doesn't, it's not like, it's not like, uh, it's not like I'm, uh, uh, when you eat it. And you get you get stupid where you can't I don't like physically edibles. dry. Yeah, I don't like it's, edibles. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not a high like where you eat edibles. Like I absolutely hate edibles too. I am just here. Yeah. Concentrate. Yeah. I'm just not a drinker. It's just not a blogger. Like I'm I'm on a I'm like. I'm the last generation, like one right behind you. I know, like I, I, the guy, the Critical 420, what's his name? Critical. Who's the 420? Custom Girl 420 guy. It's just that all those people are just not the same. The overriding drug is that one. And I keep coming back to the anxiety, even though it's a lot less. And you know, like, and then you level off again. Um, and I say you only get so high. Right? Like you don't only get so high because you could smoke this whole thing and there's only so much cannabis that gets you know, into your receptors and there's only so much. Because you can smoke joints all day, but I literally, I can smoke cannabis all day, but I literally couldn't, for, I would throw up if I tried to, I would, I would just physically, I would just, your immune system I'm would build so, up. No, no, I don't want my immune system to build up. That was, that's not where I was going with this. Oh, man. God. Oh, <coughs> cough up a rib. <laughs> oh, you watch my video, I cough in every video, so it's normal. <laughs> they, they all know it. I love it. 209. Good afternoon. Oh, I think I lost you. He'll call back. Um. Yeah, yeah, even brickweed. Brick yeah, yeah potsy weeder. Weed. Listen, listen, I'm totally with you on this one. Yeah. 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 So, so I'm, I'm literally like, like that's, that's it. it. Like literally, never again, again will I do wax like, like that, that, even a little bit. bit. Never again. <laughs> I've had nothing but bad experience <laughs> with it. And, and that, that shit was really good, good. on the other end. end. Mm. Two, five, four. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, 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 h
Okay, okay, so there's, there's a couple, couple things, things that happen, happen here when we talk about, about groups. There's, there's a couple of relationships. relationships. What, what happens, happens is one is activated and inactivated. So you look at great white is a powder version. There's there's great white the orca which is the hibernation version. They're they're ready to be activated. Then there's a T which is activated, and then there's like Clonex soluble and Clonex microbes. So Clonex microbes and the great white Clonex powder and the great white powder. Are, are both powders. You can add them to water. You can throw in, people make all sorts of mixes with alfalfa and everything else. And you can do all that, that's great too. But once you throw it in the water and you add sugar, you activate it. Once you activate it, the question really becomes is, when do you activate it? For instance, <clears throat> do you activate it? Um, do you put it in like you're transplanting? So you take a little Clonex granular and you get your pot you pull the sides up, you put a little granular in the hole, take your plant and move it in the next hole. There's your Clonex granular and it dissolves over the next few weeks. As it dissolves, it activates. That's one way to handle it. Another way is to take that Clonex, the soluble powder, put it in, you know, water, add, add a sweet product or any of the, you know, any of the sugar cane carb products and activate it. I mean, that's another way to activate it too. Uh, so you can sprinkle it on top of you could sprinkle it on top of uh, on top of the soil and uh, and go from there. You know what I mean? Water through it, and you'll get great results. What we're talking about is the activation. And once they've been activated, when you look at bottles on a store shelf, you got to ask if they've been activated or are they in hibernation like orca, because there really is a difference. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen. Um, I've been asking you guys to uh, see if you have seen um, uh, Grow, Grow Boss National. I've been asking you guys if you see uh, if you've been seeing. I got this video. I've been I've been working to advertise a Grow Boss uh, web. Let me find, see if I can find this commercial. Give me one second. Robots, broadcast. Um, uh, I think I have it right around here. But, no, <coughs> but it looks like that one. Okay. Give me one sec. Alright, check this nice. out. For sure, you're going to need a bottle of this in your garden because once you turn that light on, there's nothing you can add that will get you more weight than CO2 because there's nothing else but CO2 and water in the photosynthesis equation. So keep watching because I'm going to show you exactly why you need the TNB CO2 in your garden. Okay, here's the reality of the situation. Since the first nutrient company started selling nutrients, they've been brainwashing growers into thinking that growing cannabis is not just all about the nutrients. They wanted you to believe it was all about their nutrients, right? The nutrient companies literally perpetuated the myth that yield is based on nutrients. So you would, well, we don't need to get into why I think they're doing it. Because I think we both know why, and I think our time is better spent going over why. CO2 is the only true weight adder, and why you should be using the TNB CO2 enhancer start to finish veg and flower, especially if you're doing a home garden or growing something like this. And for sure, if you're growing in a super fast system like Hydro and DWC. This is the TNB CO2 enhancer. And as you can see, it looks just like a two liter soda jug. But it's not what's on the outside that matters, right? It's what they put in there. And that's 240 grams of a 100% all natural concentrated blend of citric acid and magnesium created at the molecular level in such a way that it doesn't get used up all at once, like that nonsense vinegar. We have separation. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. a mighty sailing man, the skipper brave and sure. Five passengers set sail that day for a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour. Steve Austin, astronaut, a man barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Just give me one sec, right? Just, just hang out for just one sec for me because, um, you know, I got to tell you, there comes that point where you cross the line and you no longer feel like you're doing something you should be doing. And I got to tell you, uh, 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 it, seems, it, it seems inappropriate suddenly with all of this on here. I mean, it's all available. It all seems so... I have no idea where any of the lines are. So frankly, I think there's a little too much. So I'm like, stop the show, pull the plug on it. <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to back this whole thing back down to just this. <clears throat> um, we're going to take, there's no more, there's, yeah, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like somewhere in there, there was just this little line cross. So what I did was I unlisted the video. So, oh, oh, um, 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 I did not realize. Okay, so I, um. Okay, I think I, okay, so I unlisted the video, but I thought you guys could still watch it. Okay, it's saying live stream. Okay, um, give me one sec to get everybody catch up. Hey, are you guys back? Okay, let me turn on your guys' mic. Um, guest is off. This is the mic that you guys are talking in now. Okay. This can, is my mic. Can I take this off? Yes. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. Awesome. The rest of the is, okay. So, okay. So we should be ready to go. So let me just tell you guys that, um, let me just tell you. So basically like, I got to tell you that it's just too much. It's too much. Um, uh, it's not one. It's not what my show is. It's it's I listen. I got to tell you, I'm not a fan of that one. Good for you if you like it. Not not saying anything like that at all. All I'm just saying is that was too much. So I just took a sec, reset the show. I, I don't want. I don't. Frankly, we passed my line where I'm feeling comfortable with, and it wasn't just the drug, like or whatever questionable status it has. I got to tell you, it's too much for me. It's not my show. There are other shows. Listen, there's um, uh, I this dude, this dude right here. He you know what. He does, uh, this dude right here, he does uh, five bong hits, one breath. What a great video. I, I would, I will never do this again like you, you like. It's I, it's not a jump a shark thing, but I got to tell you, I hate that drug. It's a I, location thing. It's a, yeah, no, it's a location thing. It's not even, listen, I'm the girl boss. This was a fun video because I needed something to do. But 
it is a gross show and i do recognize that and dude i've been trying to use myself as a guinea pig i was hoping i i was hoping it would turn out like that but you know I, listen i'm a fan of making all drugs legal i this is not the government's job to pursue you or anything in any way so uh all right, all right listen I, we're gonna play way that sack <laughs> and and I mean you know I used to do it so let's see we're gonna put the bag on there bags one gram right typical bag with a lick it's 1.1 1. 1. so we, we zero out the we zero out the uh, so oh, we'll have to wait a sec okay so that's the bag all right three bags um, okay, so here you go. Like, uh, I w you're welcome to dig it out of there, put it in here, however you want to put your eighth in your bag. We are shooting for 3.5, 3.5 grams in a bag. Dude. This is the rule back in high school. Two finger across. That was an eighth. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Two fingers across. That that was just our rule back in high okay. school. So I'm gonna try to see right here. Okay. Now you're going three and a half grams. So yeah, a little bit more. Now you're going three and a half grams. Uh, okay. Here like right. yeah, I'm gonna say this. Right, this is way more fun for me than uh than than <laughs> that those awful dabs. All right. All right I got my. Fuck, I think I went over. Did you want me to go first? Um, drop it. You want me to drop it? Okay. Right, you guys have to beat. Alright. You guys have to beat 3.4. 3.4, is that what you're saying? 3... 3.6. Three, 3.6. Six. 3. Oh, you know six. what, Chuck, don't... don't don't uh, put yours up until. Okay, are you, are you I ready? think I'm in two. Okay, okay, here we go. Fuck! I bet you I'm gonna hit three point six two. Ah, uh, three point one. I'm under. Okay. Oh, I might be under. Two. All right, let's see. Over. Three point nine. All right. Okay, that was pretty good. So I'm under. You guys went over. Now let's. Uh, Let's weigh up. Uh, I think we got enough for. Yeah, we got enough for for, uh, for, for a half. Can you weigh? Can you weigh me up a half? Let's we, see. You want me to weigh, yeah, up, weigh a half. up a half? Pull up a half. You okay. can pour yours back in. You can. Okay, no, you I'll, can, keep however my, you, I'll keep my. Eighth. Oh, you start. You start that eighth off just like that. Right. There you go. Bye from Chuck. Anybody here? <laughs> yeah. Another eighth. Hell yeah. Uh, high school bathroom. Back in my uh, day, it was three finger lids. <coughs> the lid. How much was that three finger lid? Oh, 25 bucks maybe? Yeah. But it wasn't quality. Uh, all right. This is my my hat. Mm -hmm. Want me to drop it? If you want to drop it, we'll do this one. Um, 14 grams, right? Um. Yeah, put it on there. 14 grams. 14 grams. 13 chew. Ooh, off by 0. 0.8. 13 chew. In fact, I'm going to... Okay, it says zero. Okay, so 13 chew. I used to eye out, bud, in high school all day long. We had to split ace, split quarters. I remember handing a guy a brick nug. A nug, just... Cartel it was, nug. It was, <laughs> <laughs> you, had, you had the cartel nug. From Hector. <laughs> Hector used to have, uh... Hector used to have, like, the Bronco truck with the race tires, and everyone wanted to be Hector because he'd bring the border wheel over from Mexico because he knew them. <clears throat> and Hector's cousin who did the coke. And these were where I lived in the U buildings where if you ran in this way, when the helicopter went this way... When you, the helicopter went this way, you could run. They'd never find you. Um, Bam. 
Oh, I chipped him out. I, I, I got it. Okay, so, so it actually zeroed out. So we have to take off one gram for this. So you got 11.2. So you got, that was 11.2 grams. All right. And uh, now I got angry customers. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, well, I had to make up for that other one. And so I gave this guy 4.5 grams that looked like chew for baseball. It looked like big league chew. And uh, and and I remember him just bitching at me for it. And I was like, Oh no, I got this. And I went right back in the other room, broke it apart, took a gram out, and gave him 3.1 grams instead of you know what I mean, instead of like 4.5. With it. it looks I good. Mean, it looks good. Was, uh, okay, so this good. says this says negative point eight. So this is actually zeroed out at the moment. Thirteen seven. Oh, you got thirteen seven. seven. You got me. Close. Yeah, close to you got that you got me by point that. something. That was really uh, close. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. All right, I'll take a quarter and an eighth. One quarter and an eighth. Oh, you know what? I'll take like like. An eighth in each corner, you know, like when you're trying to deliver two bags, but you want to keep it in one. I got you. You want you, you like so you want to so you want a quarter, but separate. Yeah, an eighth in each quarter. In one yeah. bag. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you want eighth in each quarter in one bag. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you know the one where they're not gonna pull the bag out, and you're just like, boom, it's in one bag. <laughs> okay, so that's one side, right? Oh my God! If I could send everybody in Florida a hit, I, I totally would. Good one. Uh, NG Cali, that's a, too much, so I'll put that. Uh, yeah, that that's, uh, it is what it is today, NG Cali. It is what it is today. So now you want another eighth on this, on this side? Yeah, an eighth and eighth. Got an eighth and eighth. Okay. That's an eighth there. That's a nice eighth there. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, sometimes you gotta drive around with an ounce, right? And you don't wanna drive around with a scale. Oh, I bought an eighth off Craigslist three years ago, two years ago. What? They literally were just. Oh, it, it's. All right. You know, One, let's just type in straight MJ. Oh, seven grams. Cannabis. So you want me to swear it out? Yeah. Okay. So I'm oh, not Las Vegas housing. Las Vegas, Forza, Cannabis. Okay. Let me turn it on. Let me turn it on. You have to throw a little on there. So, so you're 6'6". Six, six. Six. So it's pretty close. Uh, there's no way to wait any other way. But there you go. I'd have to, uh, I'd have to split the bag. So we'll see what one looks like. We'll know what the other one is. So one was way, way off. shy. Way yeah, one shy. Is 2 .6. Way shy. So there we go. The other one is three grams. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Uh, By the time we done, this whole oh, asteroid is gonna be all shakes. Six, uh, six grams. Six grams. Six grams. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing what? Twenty bucks a gram. One twenty. It's your buddy. You're gonna do it for ninety bucks. You're gonna give him six grams. Six gram hookup. Two oh nine. Two oh nine. Good morning. What are you thinking? It was up. Hey, um, so bro, bro. I get. Two o nine. Hello. Two o nine. No smasher. Hey, two o nine. Hello. Did I hit? It's not muted. Hello. Hey, there we go. Two o nine. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good morning. Hey, um, Good morning, bro. Bro. Um, oh, I got, I got one quick question. question. I'm, I'm th three weeks into, into um. Basically, um, three weeks with two clones, uh, veggies, so basically just one week veg. And I'm starting to, uh, like the new growth, it's still looking healthy, still growing fast. But it's starting to get, like, light greenish. Is that normal? You know, without pictures, Everyone keeps telling me it is. Uh, you know, if they're telling you it is without pictures, I, I have seven grams. So check with that was a healthy, that was a healthy six grams. So, um, hey, pick a number. Hey, let me, hey, give me, give me a number between five and eleven. Pick a number between five and eleven. 
six. Six. Okay. Um, yeah, that, you know, it's not the kind of thing I can answer. I appreciate the call. It's not the kind of thing I can answer without a picture. You know what I mean? I don't have to know how much light you have. And it sounds like you had a really short clone time. We would have to figure out where where the clones were. You know what I mean? We'd have to look at what they look like. I mean, you know, it's just like the whole thing, right? Um, here's uh, cannabis delivery. Check out what we have in Vegas. We've got cannabis delivery service. Check this out. I mean, who cares about the picture? High grade cannabis, 1 8 start at 30, delivery, pick up two, pick up. Good God. I remember driving down the street behind five other people, and then one at a time we'd go up to the guy in the Corvette and get the bud, and then I remember being the guy in the front. There's more of them, those are my ads. Mary Jean. Oh, oh they're everywhere. Dude, there's got to be. Change just enough not to be copyrighted. <coughs> look, all I'm saying is the, the, the waxing isn't for me. Look, I mean, look how legal it is. I mean, they're battling it out. Could you imagine me in, in, in this market trying to take over direct sales with my marketing ability? I mean, with my drive to win? So this is all legal marijuana on marijuana stuff and CBDs on. on but I got to tell you, here's all these businesses here, and I got to tell you, it's just not for me. And look, you're up there, you're at. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, my ads are totally down there. Right next to it. I, I think, think I'm over. over. I'm, I'm shooting for I six rounds. Right on. I th uh, dude, that brick weed was just... That's a quarter. That's, that's a quarter? Uh, I, I, I was, was thinking 5-5. Five, five. Five. Uh, I, I want to lick it again. <laughs> oh, what's up? That's a quarter. Oh, 7-5. Seven, seven, five, five, I'm going to go <laughs> That's the quarter hookup. That's the quarter hookup. <laughs> and I was shooting for six. Like, oh, I was shooting for six. That's the homie hookup. Five, four, one. Good morning. You're on with the girl boss on this show. What can I do for you? Good morning, brother boss. Yes, I sent you some pics yesterday uh, with Green Tom, and I just wanted you to go over those if you could answer my question about neck size. I well, that was my third girl ever, so I haven't had a lot of experience in. I've, I've experienced um, an HTS with a porn a lot, one girl, and then I tried this other style. And I was just curious to know what you thought compared to your typical lights that most people use other than the LEDs. Um, listen, I totally and I just think it was sick yesterday. Listen, I totally appreciate the call. Uh, listen, I can't do it right now. Keep listening. I totally appreciate the call, but it's coming up on 11 o'clock, and... You know, I appreciate the fact that you send me pictures, but frankly, if you need something on that type of rush, it really is at my convenience, sir, not yours. So if you like my opinion, maybe we'll get to it next week. Otherwise, you can sort of see the show's winding down. I'm all super high and angry, and I also sold seven and a half rounds and set up six, so I just lost money. I did like to test the platform of having more people up here. I gotta tell you, I feel so much better. I will never do that wax again. Like, I, I can feel it. Like, the resentment, you know what I mean? Like, you try to move towards something you don't want, and... Maybe we should smoke a joint, it'll, it'll, it'll kind of level it out. <coughs> you roll joints? Oh, I'm the... Come on, last night. Oh that's yeah, that's right. right. Last night, roll this one. All We're right. gonna smoke. We'll smoke one more time the other day. Yeah. Um. Would you, would you do this one because that yes. would undo that so we're no longer. Yeah, right, we'll, we'll open up. Oh, oh deals, deals of the week. Did I get? Listen, I will tell you deals of the week. You want deals of the week while they're rolling? I will give you deals of the week. Right now, for the next 15 minutes, you can buy this good dog for $90. Right there, that good dog, right there. You can buy this one for 95 Look at that. You buy it, by the way. Look at that good dog. You're such a good dog. You're so good, Dozer. I know. Just look at this thing. So good. All right, so let's see. What do we got for deals of the week? Um, you should log on to Nug Smasher, and you should log on to Hempgenics. Um, 
Let's see, what do I got inside the store? I got some tents. Listen, you can have, if you want a deal, come into my store. I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is I had 30 of these tanks before. I sold some to one of the other stores, but I got, still got way too many tanks. Like you want deals like literally, I have so much inventory. I, I come and get inventory. I, the bigger, the bigger the thing, the bigger the item, the better the deal you get. That's not wrong. Okay. You want, oh, sorry. You want deals? I'll show you deals. Okay. Four foot, eight bolt, T5. Boom. New in the box. Uh, listen, if you watch this video, you can have them for the rest of this month for giving me 140 bucks. If you know that. And P Jammer, when you come back in, I will give you an even better deal back on that one. Uh, on that one. I mean, you want, dude, I got so much Rodan. I got four, I got all these trays. I got get all these trays out of the store, four by four. I'll bring them all back in, but I don't have any place to store them while we're remodeling the back. There's a lot of shit back here. Look at all that grow down. I've literally been selling these things for uh, $10. I don't care which ones you, which bags you buy. I mean, there's so many. Oh, dude, look at this. You want a deal? You can literally have this trim pro and stand, brand new, everything hooked up together. Give me 1200 bucks cash. Like, it's, uh, oh, the uh, trimmer plus stand, 1750. Uh, you can have the trimmer and stand for, give me 1250 cash. Trimmer and stand right there like that. 500 bucks off, you got a trimmer and stand. I've got a whole nother set in the box that I don't need to store at the moment. Ah, uh, yes. Girl, we have papers. Oh, papers. We have papers. They're right here. Yeah. Like I've got right. papers. Oh, you guys just going for a ride with me around the store as I swing the camera around. I love that. Oh, I mean, just any, the bigger the item, the better I need it out of my store because we're starting to, what's up? You can wave to everybody. Hello. Hey, this is, uh, this is construction Ernie. This is, we're going to have like a little, there you go. We're going to have like a little, uh, there'll be a little gateway with croutons that go into the back storeroom and there'll be all displays in the back, ACs and set up big gardens. I'm not going to have live plants because I hate having live plants in a store because it brings bugs, but there'll be inventory on both sides of those shelves and both sides of that door shelves on both sides. Yeah. I'll have less, less of the sheet metal up there. For the store, I gotta tell you, like I really, I really reduced my used inventory <clears throat> in the store. Remember all those shelves and all that shit? This is my used inventory in this one little cubby right below Advanced Nutrients. Um, I still haven't got rid of these two kind LEDs or that thousand watt down there, that K5 1000, and I still have those ones up there. But I, I'm. Dude, come on, look at the front, front I mean, look at the front of my store it's like because of the i mean look at all this rock will i have just literally you can't those are the ultimate ro blanks that i've just got stacks and stacks of them I, there's no place oh yeah you want a deal this is milf fan dude you can have this milf fan for 140 bucks oh yeah the fan and the and the filter what is that a fan and Filter fan, something. anyway. Ducking fan. All right, so I don't have too much more for you. I'm just stalling until Jack K420 finishes this. And it's looking like we're pretty close. Throw a little coner for you. Well, oh, right. that's so good. A little coner. A little pen will be ooh, this one. right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe there's still, uh, I, I can't believe there's uh, still, everyone subscribed to everyone here, meet your community, support it and help it, thank you for being here, being 420, I, I can't believe you guys are like, I can't believe you guys are all still here, Jack Day 420, happy Sunday too, 
All right, like the channel, subscribe. Got to feel so much better. It really was a difference. If you remember, the entire the entire event that I had last time was 80 minutes long from smoking that wax. And this time, I was in and out in 20 with a couple of peaks and troughs. And I got to tell you, I would lick that body lotion if it helped get me off of that wax. It was, it was, I hate it. Oh. Oh. You were lit. And you can see how immediate and apparent it was for uh, for me yeah. when I smoked it. I mean, that caller brought it up. I appreciate you guys uh, uh, hanging out and watching it. We'll get back to growing next week. That was always more grow questions. That's something you learn. There's always more grow questions. And I'm going to start producing a little more in the way of video. We've talked before about the stores got open soon. We've talked before about... Uh, creating a little more content, a little more business-oriented content, cannabis content. Wrong side. The way I... <laughs> Eat the wrong side. <laughs> what? That's for a fatter roach. There's, um, there's... <laughs> um, we put a cross on the new side now. <laughs> what do you guys put in there? Here, here, I can fix that. It's going to be a double you can't, roach. You can't it's, ever it's, fix that. That's, you, you hit the crutch. What's a crutch? God... Damn it, there's three generations of smokers here. What's this guy, crunch? me, and the pup. You, you want me to fix this? Like, just. Whatever. Okay. God, you guys. What are you guys doing? Okay, here, I got you. Uh, you guys all set. Oh my god. Uh, uh. What's up in there? Um, hey, yeah. Boog. It's like a. They're four foot eight bulb each. So. Bulb, each bulb, you guys keep talking. Yeah. Each bulb is uh, in four watts. Oh, I gotta do that. Um, so, so how we do is we put like a, uh, a cardboard. It's 260 so watts. When you hit it, it hits. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. Like watts. a mouthpiece. Yes. This is all right. We got this. All right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, still yeah. Literally, like, I, you know what? Oh, one of the things that part of the technology I'm bringing on is uh, I'll be should be able to do a panel. I'm sure you guys all know what that is. Um, I'll be able to do a panel tomorrow, and I'm like, why is this thing lighting? Oh, I'll be able to do a panel. <laughs> why is it lighting? Why is it lighting? I'll be able to do a panel. We'll be able to pull up your live action gardens. I might go and just start investing heavily in the show, and then taking around. How did you fix it? You wrapped more paper around it. How does paper. that fix a burnt crutch? I don't know, but it works. <coughs> Put a lot of work in that. Oh, you just sealed it. <laughs> yeah, just put a little sealing on it. <laughs> oh, it smells like burnt crutch. You know what? Oh, you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay. Good. I'm good. It smells like burnt crutch. Let's try this. Oh, you know what you do? Put a little yeah. terpene on it. Oh, we forgot to do that. <laughs> Where's your little terpene? You can rub a little terpene on the, the edge. <laughs> OG style. <coughs> it's like grape sap terpenes too, you know. Yeah, it tastes like yeah. Pretty crunch. Anyway, uh, okay, so we're you know I do a daily show, yeah, but you see that um, there are no statistics in terms of in terms of uh, who's watching when and who's watching and what, you know, when I should be on. 727, good morning. Hey, is this a grow boss? Yes, sir. Hey, I got a question for you. I got a Hurricane Irma situation down here. Yeah. Okay. So, my question is, I'm kind of, I got to turn this computer down I can't hear you anyway my question there is I'm on day 48 of flower and white widow and I'm for sure gonna lose power and I don't know how long it'll be out so what should I do um I would sorry go on generator I would write my social security number on my arm and stay I'm not I don't I don't understand consequences in that way. Like, I, I, there's nothing to do. You're either going to evacuate or you're going to write your social security number on your arm and stay. 
No, I'm not leaving. There's no question about that. How did I know that? How? So there's nothing to be done, man. Listen, if you can get, it'll be a week. You can use the outside sunlight. Just put it out on a little raft. It'll be like Waterworld when he had those tomatoes on his raft. You just float your little mm -hmm. cannabis plant outside. I mean, you'll just get a couple feet closer, and you can just literally like sit on your roof and feed it out on a, the little Toys R Us rowboat. You know what I mean? And like they can rescue uh -huh. you and your cannabis plant. You can't stay uh -huh. if you're in the path. Oh my god! No. So when there's no light, that's it. No, so can, she can go days and days and days with no light. The problem is you should stay. Oh, safe. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, what's the worst that happens? Is she hermaphrodite? She still finishes. Who cares? Just pick a few seeds out. Uh -huh. Cool. So, so it's not like catastrophic, like this hurricane is going to be. No, it is not catastrophic, like this hurricane is going to be. So, but, yes. but one issue is though that. Obviously, not having power, I'm not going to have any air conditioning, and it gets hot as hell in here. Do you think I, that'll be detrimental to them? I think. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I just. I, listen. All right, listen. Stay safe. I got to. Stay safe. I got to. I got to end. Wind down the show. The store is open. That was an overwhelming, overwhelming phone call because I want to stay, but you should really got to go, dude. Listen, it's 48 days in. It just takes a little bit of stall and ball and you can start again. Go with your family. Be where you need it. Just be safe. Um, I, I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's like, there comes a point where uh, I don't want to talk somebody down off a bridge and I don't want to talk them up onto one either. All right, so give me a shout out for your show. Uh, you guys could come check me out at Jack K420. I've been putting my name on the chat. Sub up to me, check out my show, check out my content, you know. Come to my live stream. My live stream is pretty lit, you know, so. The Nux Smasher, NuxMasher.com. Hit up my uh, my code, my ninja, all right. Much love to everybody in the cannabis community out there, you know. Hanep OG, Ben Inya. I got cannabis love running out there, you know, much love. I'm sorry I can't name all you guys, because there's a lot of you guys out there, but much love to all you guys. Peace. And I'm the Grow Boss, and this is Cannabis 101. And I just want to say, have a great day too, and stay safe. Albert Con Collins, Lee, Hanepo G, what's up, dads? Great Nate, Tim, John Doe, Hollaback. There's a lot of you guys out there. White Kong, Jason, ah, oh, great Nate again. Volvo, P Jammer, thanks so much. Tim S, Jack A420. There you are, Cannabis Love. I'm the Grow Boss. I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of 1970s music while we get high. And listen, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay safe. Sunday, Monday, happy days, Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days.